Good Friday morning. I'm testing Web Converger um, on behalf of a customer who uses it to play back Spotify music. And I think Spotify used to depend on Flash, and now it depends on the uh, Widevine plugin. And Widevine CDM plugin by Google, if you don't know, is a sort of what do you call these black hole proprietary blobs which plays back DRM content. So in this particular boot up here, I've I've um, uh, disabled the Web Converger extension. So it should be rocking defaults here. And I think everything's under this media thing. So media GME, media, was it GME? Or was it EME? So we should be rocking the defaults here for the most part. Oh, G GMP. Yeah, we should be rocking the defaults. Um, let me also, uh, install iNotify. So I'm in debug mode, so that allows me to get a console. I just wanna debug this as best I can for you guys. Set to install. I notify. I notify tools allow, allows me to sort of figure out what's happening in the profile directory. Oh, it's installed already. Okay. All right. So the profile directory is .mozilla. I notify. Wait, minus R minus M F. Okay. So um, when you log in, I don't know why this is such a small thing. Spotify guys are obviously the user experience expert, not I. I'm just looking at my password. I am not a robot. Oh no, I must have typed in my password incorrectly. Sorry guys, this is painful. Normally, Web Converger is running this extension where everything's... Okay, this, so this is the problem. First experience here, oops, something went wrong. Reload. You must enable um, DRM. And then this button's on right on the other side. So yeah, uh, playback doesn't work. Let's enable it. Then it says Firefox is installing components. All right. So the way I understand it is downloads like this three megabyte binary and puts it in your profile directory. Seriously, that's what it does. Looks like it did move something. Is that is that not is that not a download? Right there. Okay. Now let's try play back something again. Nothing. You know, obviously, the user experience for Web Converger customer or user who sets Spotify open, ironically, um, as their um, homepage is that they, they, they can log in immediately and start playing back without any reloading. So I'm just going to reload here see if it makes a difference. And now it's crashed. I have no idea why it's crashed. So on the um, media channel, I was told that there are some preferences. So there's a config. Media G GMP log, which I can use to to 
which I can use to debug. But it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. Oh, control J. Oh, control control shift J should. Does that tell us anything? EME has been prepped off. Has it? can't really see any preference media EM, media EME huh. okay the other suggestion was to go to about add-ons let me close this window about add-ons and then go into plugins and then go right click Find updates. Am I doing anything? I mean, ideally, <laughs> this whole thing about installing something is not what Wicked Verger is about. Wicked Verger is about total lockdown and no, like, weird network traffic like stuff downloading and executing binaries I do think it's quite mad but um, <sighs> let's just try get it working yeah um, so this is the file let's have a quick gander at, at it Thirty two bit, that's correct. There's a manifest. So why doesn't it play back? It's crashed. So I can't really see the crash report. Or can I? Is it this thing? Oh here we go. Yes. Sorry, this mouse is not cool. Not cool at all. Pending. I think I disabled crash reports because, as I said, I'm trying to limit this whole. I mean, it's trying to be an enterprise thing so that well, I can't see this crash report. Yeah, I just don't want, I, I want someone to Wireshark this and know what's going on. And things, there's too many things that go in the background already. So I was always, I'm always trying to limit that. Hmm. Where does it actually? I think it's just giving me all the running things, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna copy this off somewhere. Uh, what is my other machine? I'll make this available. Oops.
Okay. Um, yeah, that's the poor user experience I'm dealing with, i.e. I. no user experience on this new Spotify website. I hope you guys can help, and sorry for taking so long.